Hey everybody, Jared back again, and in this video, we're going to be rooting your shiny new Samsung Galaxy S4 model numbers i337 and i337M. This is not for any other model variants. If you don't have this model device, do not use this guide. With that said, first thing we want to do is make sure that you have the latest USB drivers and other Samsung drivers installed uh, on your PC so that this goes nice and smoothly. So there's a couple of different methods out there of getting the drivers on your PC, but quite honestly, the simplest method is by using Samsung keys. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to samsung.com uh, or .ca, wherever you are, and you're gonna go to the little search box off to the right. Let me go ahead and just reposition my camera. There we go. So we're gonna go to the little search box off to the right here, and you're gonna type in keys, which is actually spelled K-I-E-S. And you're gonna hit enter, and we come up with this. You're gonna go ahead and just click on keys, and you've now got the option to download for either Windows or Mac. Uh, this particular tutorial is for those with Windows, no Linux, no Mac, nothing. Although there are methods out there, this video is not one of them. So you're gonna download keys for Windows. Once you have that downloaded, let me just go ahead and reposition my camera one more time, um, and I'll go ahead and actually pan up a little bit. Once you have that downloaded, uh, you're gonna want to locate it and obviously install it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and open that up and as it opens up, you'll notice we've got a little USB uh, cable connection. Now, when this is open, generally speaking, you should be able to plug in your uh, Galaxy S4 now, and um, these the program and your phone will talk to each other, and should, if all goes well, uh, install the needed drivers right away. Um, however, for me, for instance, it wasn't that easy. Um, what I had to do actually was unplug the device after I tried to attempt to have the drivers automatically install. And then see this little button here that says troubleshoot connection error? This will actually go through and fix and download any necessary drivers. Once this has done its thing, which could take about five minutes, which it did about for, for me, um, then you'll be good to go. And then you can go ahead and uh, kind of start off from here because now we've got all the necessary drivers installed. Now, with that said, what you're gonna do is click on the first link in the description below, and it's gonna take you to this page here. This is a thread for a toolkit called Moto Chopper, which was developed by XDA um, recognized developer, as you can see here, uh, DJR Bliss. So big props goes out to him, and a thank you goes out to him for um, developing this particular toolkit and passing it on to the Samsung uh, development community. Uh, anyways, uh, so what you're gonna do is you'll notice that we've got this little uh, clickable link here, which is mototropper.zip. You're gonna go ahead and click on that one there, and that'll download a file for you, a .zip file for you, which is right here, okay? So once you have that downloaded and located, just go ahead and right click on it. And depending on where you have it, it doesn't really matter. You can put it in its own folder if you want to. Uh, click on extract and just go ahead and extract it. I always just extract it on my desktop. Then you'll be given this, oops. Then you'll be given this particular folder here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and open that up. And you'll notice we've got something called run. So we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, oh, first of all, first of all, just before we double click on that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is um, navigate. Oh, let me reach around the camera here. So get into your vice, unlock it, unlocking my mod machine here. Uh, pull down the status bar, jump into your settings, go over to the more tab, scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, if you don't already have developer options showing, just go ahead and click on about device, scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll notice that the second from the bottom is called build number. Go ahead and click on that. I think it was like four or five times um, until it says that you now have developer uh, options access, which will bring up this new um, option in the, in the settings menu there. Go ahead and click on that. And this may or may not be uh, toggled green. So just if it isn't, just go ahead and click it. And you'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see here USB debugging. You wanna make sure that USB debugging is checked. That's extremely important, okay? So once you've got that checked, you're good to go. All right, so now that we've got that all settled out, uh, you can go ahead and plug in your phone to your PC. Now if I can go ahead and get, whoops, wrong way. And plug it in like so. You probably won't. Uh, have as much trouble as me there. And so once that's plugged in and your device, or sorry, your computer recognizes the device, go ahead and click on the run executable there. 
go ahead and double click on that and that'll bring up a new command window bam right there and you can go ahead and take a moment to read it you know before continuing ensure that usb debugging is enabled which we just did that you have the latest uv uh, usb dri drivers <laughs> installed which we do now and that your phone is connected via usb which it now is warning this will likely void the warranty on your device i am not responsible for any damage to your phone as a result of using this tool press enter to root your phone so i'm just going to go ahead and press enter and as you can see, it's now waiting for device and Damon is not running starting now device found it's pushing stuff to it. It's pushing the super user APK and we have success rooting the phone. This may take a few moments. We'll just give that just a minute. There we go. That was it. That was fast exploit complete. Press enter to reboot and exit. Press any key to continue. I'll just go ahead and press enter again and that'll eventually reboot our phone for us. Alrighty, so our device has finished rebooting. So what we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to the Play Store and you are going to, and this is just to make sure that we have root, right? Type in root uh, checker. There it is. Comes on up and we'll go ahead and click on that. See root checker from Joey Krim. Click uh, on that one. Go ahead and click install. I've already downloaded it, so we're going to click on OK, uh, on open. You'll see that it's got a little button there, verify root access. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to it's going to ask you if you have um, or to to grant it super user permission. And go ahead and do that. And then uh, once you're done, you can click verify root access, and it'll tell you congratulations, this device has root access. And that's it. You're done. That was easy. You can go ahead and wipe that sweat off your forehead. That was probably one of the easiest roots ever. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to click that likes button down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. We're going to have lots of mods and ROMs to come. So stay tuned for those. Um, but that's it. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to follow me also on Google Plus and Twitter to stay up to date on all things The Smoking Android. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.